Hello friends and welcome to TechyJack. In this video series we will be learning about HMail server and in this video we will see how to install and configure HMail server for a local environment. We will do a basic installation, we will create some email accounts and we'll check with the local email flow on Outlook. So let's see how to do that. right now I am on a newly installed server and let's see the bit configuration of this server I have a one LAN card on it and the IP address I have given to this LAN card is 192.168.2.12 and it's pointing to itself as a DNS server so I have installed Active Directory with DNS server on this machine and also I have downloaded the HMail server the latest version of HMail server and you can see the DNS is there and let me let's see like if we are able to resolve the DNS properly or not it says the request timeout our DNS seems to be having some problem so let's see if ha if we have everything in a place or not we have a forward lookup zone we don't have a reverse lookup zone so let me create the forward lookup zone has been uh, created itself when I install Active Directory so now we can install a reverse lookup zone if you don't know how to install a Active Directory you can watch my other videos and you will find Active Directory installation with the DNS configuration on those videos so network ID next and finish now we have a reverse lookup zone and let me quickly create a new pointer record to my server and the pointer record is going to same as a parent and I will also add a new pointer record with the computer name like my server and my server is a computer name of this machine if we see properties of my computer you will see the server name is my server so now we have a reverse lookup zone see the name is my server and the domain I am using here is go green start online so we have a reverse lookup zone we have a forward lookup zone let's try to refresh the DNS server and launch the NS lookup okay now it's going to a go green start online and I will also confirm it once with a command prompt like nslookup ok it's going to our IP and let me type the IP to name resolution check ok we have a configured DNS server so now let's install HMail server if you are installing HMail server in a local environment and you have some small requirements you can use this built-in database engine that is Microsoft SQL Compact but if you have a large organization that means you have more amount of uh, email data in your email so use the external database like uh, MySQL or SQL Server so right now we are going with the built-in database so let's click on next next and we'll put the password for the email server now installation is going on it's a small installation and it's a open source software so anyone can use it once it is installed we will create some users and we'll check with the outlook okay now the installation is done okay let's try to create some users now and here you can find the HMail administrator so let's open the HMail server it's connecting to the local host and click on connect asking for the password 
we'll put the same password which we have given at the time of installation and now it's connected in order to create some users you have to first add the domain so right now I'm adding as a local domain that is my go green start online and I'll click on save once I click on save you can see you have the option of accounts here and you can put some name here alias name it's as a go green email or you can type just go green you can put the signature you can limit the message size and if you want to sign the message with the key like you want to sign the header body or other option you can just put that and but you should have the private key for that so let's create some accounts I will give it as a user1 password for the user1 and as a administrator level is user and we'll click on save user1 is created go to the account and we will create one more user so that we can test the email flow between two users click on save okay now two users has been created and now we'll go to our client machine uh, the machine is joined with this server as a client machine and we will try to configure outlook let me also create these user in an active directory as well I'm going to create new OU as a email users And I'll create the user 2 as well. Now the two users have been created. So let's go to the client computer and try to configure email for these uh, user. We will try to log in with these users. Now we are on a client machine joined with the go green as a client and I'm going to log in with the user 1 the active directory user which we have created in our server and we will log in with this user and we'll try to configure outlook for this user we are now login and this computer is joined with the go green as a domain client and let me open outlook now searching for account I will accept the license and the user is go user1 at go green start online go to the advanced option and we'll select the account manually we will click on connect now we have an option to select proper IMAP I am selecting IMAP and you have to put the server name here so my server name is my server dot go greens dot online and the same is outgoing
and make sure like whenever you're trying to do this your port 143 and 225 should be open on a server let me put the password and I have not opened this port on my server so let's see if it goes through or not okay the, that means we have to open these ports on our server so let me do that now I am on a server and in a firewall I have created this uh, rule to open the port and if you want to create a rule here you can do this setting like click on port click on next and select the port like 80 110 for POP SMTP 25 993 465 587 and you can click on next allow this connection domain private public next give the name here and click on finish I already created this port if you see the settings protocol and ports I have created I have opened this port in my firewall so let's go to the client and see if Outlook get configured or not I clicked on retry and it was successfully added so let's click on done and now we have a test mail here let me try to create a new mail for user1 at gogreens.online hi test and I'll also send this mail to user2 at gogreens.online click on send let's see if we do receive this mail or not okay you can see we have received this email and let's go and log out with this user and log in with the another user and let's see if we, if the other user have received that email or not we have a user 2 as well there so let's go to the user 2 login okay now it's user 2 this environment is a local environment and if you want your user to not to send email outside and if you don't want outsiders to email your user you can use this email system in your local environment and it will work fine till you have a email space of till up to 1 GB that means it will work fine up to 1 GB and if you have a more emails like then it may create a problem so uh, in that case you have to go with the my SQL or SQL server database so let me go with the outlook here and we'll configure the outlook for this user as well because now we have firewall turned on for these ports let's go to the advance okay let me set up my account manually now let's choose the IMAP and go with the my server dot go greens dot online and it's a default port for IMAP 143 and the default port for SMTP 25 and the outgoing server is also my server dot go greens dot online and encryption method is none so let's click on next the password for the user 2 try to connect and it says account successfully added so let's click on done let me close this internet explorer 
and you see the test mail has been delivered here and the email from the test user1 is also there okay let me try to create one more email for this user to test that to itself user2 at gogreens.online and user1 at gogreens.online the cc hi test and let me send this email okay now the mail flow is going on the both the user uh, are able to send and receive email this environment like this system is good for a local environment if you want your user to use a email system in a local environment it is best for a small environment so now we have our outlook working in the next video we will see how to configure web admin for HTML server and we will do some advanced settings on next video